Hello, my friends, family, esteemed colleagues. Uh, since um, many people that, follow, that, that come across my videos are not familiar really with my work and do not read my articles, <clears throat> then they are missing a lot of information. They get a little bit confused and a question came, uh, what is genome? What is genetic alignment? When I'm mentioning protocol of self-healing, I always say it has basically two parts bond together. One part of the protocol is focused on increasing plasma levels of the body so the hydration and cleanse can go and including cellular hydration and cellular cleansing. <clears throat> and the other part is directed towards returning the genome where it should be for human body. Now, genome is genetic expression. Now, what does that mean? <clears throat> we have a whole bunch of genes. These genes are basically recollection or uh, electromagnetic imprints of events that we've been through as a human race. And uh, our genetics have uh, records of the whole creation from the beginning to the end. We are not at the end, but information is there. Of course, it is still being filled in because we are still going through experiences and always bringing a new information and gaining a new electromagnetic imprint, which we can call gene. Now, what happened is that when this robot was created, then it was adjusted with certain programs and controlled through certain switches and sensors. And uh, it is geared to particular environment. And the environment then is in coherence with this robot. Now, how do we maintain the environment so the genetic alignment, because genes are actually the blueprints that tell our cells, look, in this environment, this is how you have to behave to survive. And um, what, is, what creates perfect environment? Well, just look in a wilderness. Animals, how they live. First, they don't put clothes on. Second, they eat the food the way they find it. They don't change the frequency of it. So when they eat this food, it's the original vibration of creation. I call it the food of God. Now what do we do? We change this. We raise the vibration by heating it up. Now you would think, oh, risen vibration, that's good. Well, it's not good. It's like taking a guitar, perfectly tuned guitar, and now you pull the strings up, make them tighter. It's not going to sound good in orchestra. Even if you tune it, it's not going to sound good with orchestra because it's going to be on different level. So we are changing the environment by bringing in food that is not in alignment with the frequency. 
We have to use quantum because from quantum, this is essence. There is no bullshit. It's frequency and what you do with it. Nothing else. Because our reality is nothing more than these frequencies that we get run through the sensors, through, through the brain, run through the sensors, and then through our senses being expressed. So any change in the frequency, you are going to see it, smell it, taste it, feel it, different. Okay, it's not bad, it's not good, but it's different, and it's not with alignment with our frequencies. And this is how we screw up this robot. Because what happened is, as soon as you bring these frequencies, now sometimes somewhere, we have been in a situation that certain frequencies, similar frequency was there. Now this is being picked up through telomeres, shut through our RNA into the gene that resonates with this frequency. So the gene comes, wakes up, and oh, I remember this, I remember this, and the cell had to do this and this and this and this. Now the cell shifts. And this is how we shift. Now doctor says, oh, it's a genetic problem. It came with genes, well, there's nothing to do. Well, yes, mother or father or a, a grandfather could have done something that shifted the genetic expression. And it could be, now it's embedded in now in genes, and it could come out in a young child. But it doesn't mean that this is permanent. You can shift it by correcting the diet, because most of these problems we have through diet. Some of them are mental, as a fear that we have created. Not some somebody gave it to us. No, it's your response to some event. So it's going to be different. And this energy can linger in the body and interfere with overall energetic radiation of your body. But when we are talking about genes, especially which have been recalibrated because we have changed the environment of our body. We pushed in frequencies which are not synchronized with this reality. We changed them. So now they affect us. And we are being shown these changes. Doesn't matter what you cook. It will change the smell, the taste, the flavor, the consistency which means energy sh has shifted. It's not the same thing anymore. So your genes are going to start getting aligned. Some will be disconnected. Some will be connected. Some will be modified. They just change the vibration, which happens with Naga gene, for example. And then cell, instead of producing GCMF, start producing Nagalas because vibration is slightly shifted and pushes the cell doing different things because this is how what is required if we are giving this particular frequency of glucose into the body so the worst change genetic change well worse the principle genetic change was done once when we start eating glucose, forbidden food, because now the body had to adjust to it. So genetically it had to give information to the cell what to do, okay? Produce nagalas, what to do now with other stuff, it's because now you are creating also inflammatory processes, you are creating uh, big production of uric acid. Well, so everything has to start shifting and adjusting to this. On top of it, we eat then other vegetables, 
which all have phytotoxins that now affect different parts, different frequencies, different parts of the body. And we get all kinds of digestive issues and all kinds of inflammations and chronic issues, all related to incorrect food and lack of plasma so the body cannot cleanse the stuff out. It holds it. And longer it holds it, the longer it has influence on the cells, on the genetics. So the genes shift. Nothing, no change in the body occurs, occurs unless genes have shifted. Because genes are the switches that are telling the cell how to shift, what to do. So if you have any hormonal change, genetic shift. Whatever change on the body you have, genetic shift. Without genetic shift, nothing happens. So now when you want to heal, you have to bring the genes up in the primary phase. But it doesn't happen all of a sudden. You start eating correctly and puff, cha. No, because your body is now, it's a response of the environment of the body. So you start eating correctly, yeah, well, but you have incorrect flora and fauna. You have already toxicity there. You have already multiple inflammatory processes. So now the stuff will start improving. But as it's shifting, so it's shifting your genome. Because first your genome has to shift because environment has shifted. Environment doesn't shift from black to white. It goes through phases of gray. So each phase of gray has different genetic genome, genetic expression. And as it adjusts to it and they shift, the genes again shift, pop. And this makes a shift in the body. As the shift occurs, again, it's still not perfect, pop. And little by little, you are shifting, shifting, shifting until you are where you are supposed to be. But the major shift that is necessary is to force the cell to start using fat instead of glucose to make energy. Because you always have fat available, but not sugar. You don't have storage for sugar. So when you are sleeping, bam! And this is when your body is recovering, recuperating. So. If you don't have energy for it, you're doomed. And of course you cannot sleep and you're hungry at night. So it's necessary to make that shift. And this is quick fix. You deprive glucose, dietary glucose, glucose from outside. You deprive it to come into the body and puff. Third day you have already all the mitochondria active so you can start using and producing adequate amount of energy from fat. And since now you are using fat, you start losing fat, you start slimming down. But on the other side, since you are using the protocol, so your cells are hydrating, your body is hydrating, so you are holding more water. So you may not always see uh, the drop of weight because you drop fat but you gain water and often at the beginning you have sudden drop of weight why because you get in purged especially your intestinal your digestive system and it can have so much garbage in it, it can be it can be 10 kilo of shit right in there that should not be there so you may lose 10 kilo in one month just because you finally emptied the old stuff out. So what is the genetics? Genome. It is trying to try. It's aligning the genes to give the correct information for the body so it behaves healthy but it is strictly related with the environment and you are changing the environment 
as you change your diet, as you change the drink, and then as it cleanses, it's shifting from black to dark gray, light gray, light gray, yeah, no? until you get it into white, into healthy state. Anybody who tells you that, wow, oh, genes, not, nothing can be done, they don't know what they're talking about. And we are never missing a gene. Cannot happen. Gene is there. Just is dormant. It's not active. Why? Environment. It's always environment. Why is there mongoloid child? We say, oh, chromosome missing. It's not missing chromosome. Just during the development, the woman must have been poisoned. And this poison created a shift of genes. Can that be fixed? Yeah. The sooner you start, when the baby is born, the better. And now you think, well, baby, but baby drinks mother's milk. Yeah, well, mother has to start, has to cleanse, because the milk is toxic. So, mother has to do the right thing, cleanse the blood. Of course, then she will cleanse the body, so there will still toxins coming. This is why I say, you want to be, a woman wants to be pregnant? Well, start with the protocol before you even get there. Cleanse. And this way you are going to have a healthy baby growing. You will have much easier birth. And when baby is born, it will be healthy. Now, if you did not know earlier about this, and you gave a birth, and now you have a child, well, let it cleanse. You start eating correctly, start hydrating, and to addition to your milk, give child plasma so it can cleanse and if it goes into diarrhea if it goes into vomiting beautiful it's cleansing if it doesn't it didn't need it it was not that toxic it's simple we don't need doctors experts surgeons we just have to understand this reality in which we are living Thank you for listening. Till next time. Love you all.